what? All right, what's up guys? My name's Alex and welcome to the kitchen. Today we're gonna be making stuffed portobello mushrooms and a marinated flank steak. These are some of my ingredients we have here. All right, we'll be using all those and I'll explain it later in the video. First step of cooking, all right, wash, wash our hands. You wash your hands for between 20 to 30 seconds or you could just say happy birthday twice. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna start off with the baked veggie portobello mushrooms. And right now, we're gonna clean and cut all the vegetables for the stuffing for the portobello. All right, let's start rinsing. First, we have our basil. You're gonna give that a good rinse. Now that the basil's done, now we have to wash the spinach and the parsley. Now we have to wash the cremini mushrooms. And it's a little different way to wash them. You have to make a damp paper towel because you cannot wash mushrooms. And you just come and you clean the surface of the mushrooms. All right, now let's start cutting. First, you're going to choke up on your knife. And for mushrooms, you're going to cut the stems off for more even cuts. So you're going to do that for all of them. I've already done a few already. You're going to leave them like that. We're gonna have a quarter of these mushrooms. First, you're gonna grab here. You're gonna cut right here, right down the middle. You're gonna flip it. One more right there. All right, now we have to cut a cup of spinach. So first, you cut the stems off of all your spinach, because no one eats stems. And then you're gonna finally cut your spinach. Don't forget to do the bear claw method and choke on your knife. The parsley. First, you pick off the parsley off the stems. And you can use the stems, but most people don't. And once you're done, you're going to finely cut your parsley and put it into your stuff at the parsley, like so. Very fine. Now we got to do some basil. Same thing as the parsley. You're going to rip them off the stems, and then you're going to finely chop them after we're done. And for this, you're going to need two cloves of garlic. First, you're going to take the paper off the garlic. And after that, you're going to use the back of your knife or the side of your knife, and you're going to pound the garlic up. It's easy to get the garlic, but don't go too hard, or you're shouting your garlic. Now we're going to cut the garlic. So you're going to get this tops off because no one wants the tops and optionally you can cut the other ends off and after that you're going to finally mince your garlic by the way mincing means to cut really small pieces all right now the onion we're going to use a half an onion for this recipe first you got to save the hairy you're going to make cute small incision around it to make sure you don't ruin it and then you're going to follow these grooves and you're going to go all the way down a lot of them and you're going to go that all the way around all right quick note when you start crying just take a second don't start cutting wait till you catch your breath and you can start again bell time. first you're going to have to take out the insides we're going to have to take out the stems and then the gills because gills are very bitter first you can either cut or you can rip out and there he takes out some gills and you're going to do that to all of these. You're just going to rip out the stems. You could cook with the stems, but we're using cremini mushrooms, so you don't have to. All right. And with a spoon, you're going to scoop out these gills, because gills are super bitter. Just be very gentle. You can scoop them out. They come out like so. Now it's cooking time. So you're going to need one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And you're going to add it to the pan. And you see the pan's already hot. And when your pan's hot enough, you're going to add your onions. And you're going to saute them between for four to five minutes, and then you're going to add the rest of your vegetables. All right, I just want to let you know, sauteing is when you add a little oil and you cook on high heat. All right, now that the onions are pretty well cooked, we're going to add one cup of sun-dried tomatoes. We're going to add our spinach now. And then we're going to add our cremini mushrooms. And we're going to saute that for another four to five minutes. All right, now you're going to add your two cloves of garlic. So the garlic gives more flavor. 
And then in a second, we're gonna season and add the rest of our vegetables. All right, now you have to add your final vegetables. We're gonna add the parsley, and we're gonna add our basil. And that's gonna incorporate all our final things. And we're gonna add some, some ground pepper and some salt for better taste. And once that's all cooked, your stuffing is complete. Now your stuffing's done. You see here we have our baking sheet with our portobello mushrooms. And while we've been cooking this, our oven has been preheating to 400. And so when I'm done with this, I'm going to use a big spoon. And I'm going to start filling in our mushrooms. Once our stuffed mushrooms have been covered, it's optional. You could add some Parmesan cheese on top but you don't have to, so I'm gonna do one without. And then you're gonna stick it in your oven. That's preheat to 400 for 15 to 20 minutes or until you notice your portobellos are soft. Our mushrooms are in the oven. We're gonna start making the marinade for our steak. First, we're gonna need a half a cup of vegetable oil. And then after that, we're gonna need a third cup soy sauce. And after your soy sauce and vegetable oil, you're going to do, it's gonna, it, it calls for two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. This is almost a half a lemon. So you're just going to squeeze that in there. And once you're done, the next you're going to have to do Worcestershire sauce. You're going to need one and a half tablespoons. You're going to add just a little bit like that. That's good. And then next off, you're gonna need some Dijon mustard, you need one tablespoon. And finally, you're gonna need some minced garlic. We have two cloves here. You're gonna add that in. And then, we always need some pepper. So you add some pepper in there. And there's your marinade. All right. While we've been making our marinade, our mushrooms have been looking delicious and they're ready to be eaten. So now you're gonna let them rest for just a few minutes. See, look at that, that's all crispy and good. You're gonna turn off your oven. And while we're doing that, we can let that sit. And come follow me. We have to mix our marinade. And you see, once your marinade's in, you're gonna submerge your steak. We have flank steak today and it's gonna go in there and it's gonna soak for about six hours. But I already took the time in marinating a pound and a half and they're ready to be cooked and grilled. All right, now I hear the best part, the steaks. So now we're gonna have a little olive oil after our pan's heating up. You could use a grill, but I'm deciding to pan fry. So we're gonna add just a little bit of oil so you can soak, cover the bottom of the pan. So you're gonna mix that around. You're gonna go all the way around. You're gonna cover that pan. And then once the oil is hot enough, it's time to cook the steaks. All right, now pan's hot enough. These are marinated steaks. They've been marinating for about six hours. And now you're just gonna cook them for about five minutes on each side. Pretty hot pan. You're gonna lower the flame. You can move them away if you wanted to, to lower it, but it's a pretty hot pan. And we'll add one more, only two to each turn. And we'll let those cook for about five minutes on each side. All right, once your steaks are done, you're gonna set them on any plate, and you're just gonna let them rest for a few minutes because you gotta, the juices, you can't let them cut. So you have to wait a few minutes so they taste a lot better, trust me. All right, quick note, pan frying is when you cook anything with a small amount of heat, fat, or oil on high to medium heat. All right, guys, we made a full meal right now, and I think this is what the final product should look like. We have our marinated steak, we have some Worcestershire sauce on the side, and here's our little toasted portobello mushroom. Thank you.